Hello, I'm Karen. I'm a Move It or Lose It instructor and physiotherapist. And in this video, I'm going to give you a short overview of the body mechanisms involved in our balance and why balance is such a key part of exercising in Move It or Lose It classes. You will have the opportunity to join in with some balance awareness, so make sure that you have appropriate footwear and you have a chair close to hand for support if you need it. So to put it quite simply, balance is our ability to remain upright and steady. And there are three main sensory systems involved in balance. First of all, we have our vision. And this helps us to know where our head and body is in relationship to the world around us. We have proprioception. That's the big word for today. And you can impress your family with that later. And that's the sensation of position and movement we get from our muscles, joints and skin. So when we move, information is fed from those structures through the spinal cord up to the brain, which makes the body respond to keep upright by sending messages back down to the muscles, joints um, to adjust our position. And thirdly, we have our vestibular sense. So the vestibular system um, is situated in balance organs which uh, lie just behind the inner ear and they respond to movements of the head. So particularly forward and backwards movements, turning movements and tilting movements, a bit like an internal spirit level. So you will know that your vestibular system has been stimulated when you come off um, being on the waltzes at a fair if you're still brave enough to do that or to, after you've been spun around by a vigorous dance partner, you'll get that feeling of a momentary vertigo where the world's spinning around you until it settles down as the vestibular system reacts and adjusts. So all of these three systems, your vision, your proprioception, and your vestibular sense uh, can be affected by illness, injury, or certain medical conditions. And most of the time, our bodies and brains are adaptable enough so that only two out of the three systems need to be working efficiently for us to feel balanced. But as we get older, the normal ageing process comes into play, which means that over the age of 65, we can be at increased risk of falls due to a reduction of our balance. But the good news is that we can keep practising our in training our balance and keeping strong and flexible to try and reduce the risk of falls. So we're going to get on our feet if you want to and just get a feeling of balance awareness. So if you're joining in, make sure that you have a chair close to hand, suitable footwear and you're standing in a good comfortable position, feet hip distance apart. Just register that position for a moment. Try and maintain a good posture, but your position should be relaxed. And then gently, I'd like you to take your weight forward onto the front of your feet, but try not to lift your heels. That's the tricky bit. Come back to the centre again and try again, just leaning forward till you get that feeling that you're wanting to take a step, but you're not letting yourself take a step. It's not very far movement. If I just turn to the side, my movement is really small before I feel it is a reaction in the muscles of my legs. So I don't know what you're feeling because we're all different, but when I do that, oh, I can feel my toes gripping, my heels are wanting to lift, so my calf muscles and hamstring muscles are pulling me back into an upright position. I'm going to try going the other way, but do make sure that you have your hand hovering, if not just fingertip touch to your chair. Take your weight back onto your heels, very, very small movement, maybe only half an inch. And what can you feel happening there? Toes raising. Oh, yeah. Shin muscles working. Thigh muscles. Some of you may feel your tummy muscles working. And if you go back far enough, your arms will raise to prevent you taking a recovery step. So that's your proprioceptive system working. Your proprioception is giving that information to your brain and making those muscles react. So that's why strong muscles are so important in creating a good foundation for us keeping our balance. 
just going on to a couple of uh, more theory for you. Static and dynamic balance. You may have heard of those terms related to your balance. Static balance is just maintaining your position for a period of time, a bit like playing musical statues as a child. And dynamic balance is keeping our balance when we're moving, getting up from a chair, getting in and out of bed, walking, turning, etc. And we do exercises for both types of balance in class. So a few examples for you. Static balance works on maintaining a still position on a gradually reducing area or a base of support or a standing platform. So we may start just with feet hip distance apart with support, progress without support, progressing to feet together, maybe one foot halfway in front of the other as a semi-tandem stand or all the way in front of the other as a full tandem stand. If that hurts your hips a little bit you can keep your feet apart but make sure one foot is in front to challenge your balance a little bit more and gradually working on progressing to a single leg stand when we really feel those balance mus muscles sort of wobbly that wobbly position that we need to stimulate that balance reaction so we can work on narrowing that standing platform area or we can work on increasing the amount of time that we're in position so maybe 10 seconds 30 seconds one minute and onwards and with dynamic exercises we're just building us some movement into the position that we're in. So typically heel raises for calf strength, toe raises for shin strength. We have marching, knee bends for our thighs, side stepping, single leg swinging. So we have to keep a still body while our legs are moving. There's a lot of variations on a theme. But anything that gets us up and moving around really stimulates those reactions. We can also think of balance in terms of steady state balance, which is where you're keeping your balance when still, as we've already discussed, but it also includes just walking in a straight line without any obstacles. Proactive balance, um, and that's preparing the balance system to adapt, knowing that there is a step or obstacle in the way. Our vision is the most important um, with proactive balance. Uh, so maybe think about how you feel when you leave the opticians with a new set of glasses, um, a new prescription, particularly varifocals or bifocals. And we'll have to go out and um, adjust to positions, um, steps, obstacles, crowded streets, maintaining our social distance at the moment, sidestepping. And it can take a while for our new um, type of vision to adjust uh, to depth and distance. Similarly, if you have any problems with your eyes, if you have, have had recent eye surgery as well. But all the dynamic exercises that we do in class work to help with your proactive balance. And finally, reactive balance. Now, reactive balance is when you recover your balance after momentarily losing it. For instance, when being knocked into or tripping or slipping. We feel quite unsteady at that moment and we have to have that almost a, uh, a reflex reaction to it. Okay, So training reactive balance is the most difficult, but it is the most beneficial. You don't only need strength and flexibility for reactive balance, but you need speed. So in class, when we're doing um, routines to music and we're do using different tempos and rhythms, and we're building up into using um, more uh, a variation of movements, so reaching and turning and swaying and using balls and games and reaction um, with things such as using a ball or a balloon and reacting to have to catch that. We're not really thinking then so much about what our feet are doing, they're naturally adjusting to keep us upright. So there's a lot going on in our body systems when we're in class and maybe that's given you a little bit more background information um, about the systems involved and you can impress your nearest and dearest with all those, those terms. Um, thanks for watching, keep safe and enjoy your exercises. Bye.